things. So it's okay, KO tea time. So make sure you have your favorite cup of tea and that you have time. And if you didn't notice, <laughs> I did that by myself, which was kind of awkward. I miss Olivia, but technically she's behind the camera. Hi, Olivia. Shout out to her. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to take the spotlight today and let you know about my personal experience working at Amazon. Basically, at Amazon, what I did, how was the process, how did I end up there, and my overall experience. First, I did this during COVID. July to September. So this was an internship. Basically, if you haven't looked at our video about internships working students, please check that out. So an internship is full time. So I was working full time. I was a busy woman. I was making money. <laughs> I was working at AWS. So AWS is a part of Amazon and they work, AWS is Amazon Web Services. So they work with cloud computing. So I can give you a nice description at the bottom if you want to know more about AWS and what they do with cloud computing. So how do you apply? I'll let you know my experience. So what I did is I went to amazon.com slash careers and you can filter through and you can pick the country. So for me, basically, as everyone should know, I live in Germany. <laughs> so I went to Germany and then I looked and the closest city that they had where I am located was Munich. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna do a Munich internship. And in my head, I was thinking, I hope it's online. It's how I hope it's online because I live in Nuremberg and Nuremberg to Munich is one hour. And I was like, oh no, I don't wanna do a one hour commute. No one hour commute, but I really wanna work at Amazon, but I don't wanna do a one hour commute. So that was my hope that it would be online and it was, I'll get more into that later on the details of how it was. And what you have to do with the application itself is first you have to have your resume. And that's actually the most important part of your application is your resume because Amazon, they don't require a cover letter. So a cover letter is the letter that you write to say why you're interested in it, um, a little bit more perhaps about your background, etc. So the thing you really only need is the resume. So make sure it is tip top, good, perfect. Like this is me, hire me because I am me. Really show them what you've done and why you're qualified. If you need more resources or help on how to do a resume, specifically there is a difference between German and American resumes. Me and Olivia can definitely do a video on that later. So check that out in the future because that'll come. Now that you have your resume tip top perfect, the next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to wait. Contact me, I guess, whenever. And they did eventually after the week and a half, two weeks. And how they contacted me is they contacted me through my email and they sent a link. And that link was actually an assessment test. And in that test, it has more to do with personality. I think it was more of them trying to figure out if you're a people person or if you're hardworking or rather do you think smart or now how is it would you work hard or do you work smart something like this and the test itself is only like 30 minutes or so it doesn't tell you if you pass you fail the results are just sent to them i got a response back probably within a week or so and they wanted me to do surprise another <laughs> test and that test had to do with the 14 principles of amazon and i will send the link at the bottom down here Basically with the 14 principles, it's the culture, what Amazon abides by, what they follow. And it's really the heart of Amazon. So what you do is you have to record yourself and it's in a time frame. I want to say each time that I had to answer a question, I had a minute or so to answer. You see yourself talking and you're answering the prompt that's given. And there's only four or five questions. And I remember all of these questions were based off Amazon's 14 principles. One of the questions I remember was, uh, what is your favorite Amazon principle and what or how do you follow it? And then the next step after that is you wait a while, doo -doo 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 -doo, maybe a month or so, you get your email doo -doo 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 -doo, from two HR human resource representatives and they asked me, they're like, excuse me, Kira, 
would you please be willing to have time available at the end of the week to do an interview? And then I got another response back and it was actually the timetable of the interview. And I did not know that this interview was actually interviews with an S and the whole timetable was for five hours long. Interview day consists of three separate interviews. So really it is the full day of interviews. They were basically again these 14 principles. The interviewers, they'll ask you, please describe a certain situation in which you showcased this principle. And you use your past experiences, your work experience from your school experience to answer this question or this situation. And that's basically it. They'll ask you two or three each interviewer and you go through that. And I must say this is one of the most interesting interviews that I've had. One, because it was so cool that the interviewers were from all over the world. So my first one, she was a woman from Great Britain. And then the second one was in Australia. And the third one was in Germany. So it was very, very cool that you're able to see all parts of Amazon and its employees working all over the world. Another thing I almost forgot is I didn't know if this interview would be in German or in English. To let you know, it was in English. Within three days, they told me, congratulations, you got the job. So, yay. so now that I was in Amazon, again, as I said, this was an online internship. And luckily, they sent me all the equipment that I needed. My computer, my monitor, my keyboard, blah, blah, blah. Everything was sent to my house. So I was super happy about that. And the first thing that they did is they had a whole f plan of what my first day is, my week, my first week is, my first month, my second month, and then finally my third month. But Amazon is really good at preparing you to really work for them, to really understand what in the company you're doing and what the company stands for. So they'll really give you that background. I was pleasantly surprised and really happy with the corporate culture and my team culture. They're really, really, really super nice. This is probably one of the best environments I've been in in my whole employment history and I really enjoyed the work. The work was very dynamic. Most of the interns that AWS takes on, they are usually given a project and so there is a reason behind why you are hired and I mean that ensures in a way of course that you don't end up doing like the mundane tasks. <laughs> I was able to actually get my cloud computing certificate on top of all my work that was, an, that was another objective that they wanted me to get and that's really a great initiative from them because you're able to use of course this certificate later on in life and get in another position if you want to keep on going into cloud computing. It's really you take the internship and you can make it as, um, as you want it. So really take the initiative, dive deep into Amazon, really connect. It's a global company. You can make it like a coffee chat with anyone and you can really enjoy your experience and be a part of Amazon. I think that <laughs> I would call it an end of tea time. Cheers!